team started playing in 1893. I grew up understanding the manual mail robbery. Playing football for Mayo High School, especially when we played manual, was just, just a wonderful experience. In those days, there were about 20,000 people to attend the ball game. My dad started bringing me to the games in 1956. It was one of the highlights of my life. It's just a terrific robbery. It's one of the oldest robberies in the country and can't get any better than that. I was a big proponent of Friday night football. I thought Friday night football was, if you're going to market in high schools, that's where you got to go. The crowds are the biggest, the passions are the greatest, that's where you ought to be. I was fortunate enough to play in a game like that. And I said, there's got to be other games out there that are just like this, that mean just as much to the people that play in them, mean just as much as the communities in which they're participated in, and they mean just as much to all the alumni who still relive it every year. So I said, if there's one of those in Louisville, there's got to be others around the country, and that's how we started. The old rivalry goes, goes back 100 years. This game was before the Statue of Liberty. My dad is a manual uh, person. He went to the high school in the 1920s. People came to the first games on in, on horseback. The rivalry then meant so much because the schools were so close together. That was the big, big game here in Louisville. It was the huge game of the year. The rivalry was just really eating you up all the time. They used to meet down in downtown and fight each other before they ever played the ball game. On Thanksgiving Day, all of Louisville planned their their day around the, the old rivalry. The first time we went over, I came home crying because we lost that one. Because it was extremely important. You didn't want that on, you know, on your thoughts the rest of your life that, hey, we lost that male manual football game. I'm 75 years old now, but still that is one of the highlights of my life. Third year went over, and that's the year we had the state football championship team. To know that so many folks throughout the years have have viewed this game as the game. My dad is in the Hall of Fame at Manual. He went to 72 consecutive male manual football games. The greatest uh, feeling we could ever have is to come back from that game and be a winner. And everybody thought we were the greatest, <laughs> almost like Muhammad Ali, but not quite. <laughs> so what a wonderful experience that was for me because I was a little boy when I became a fan. 1959, I think, is the benchmark of all male manual games from a manual standpoint. Uh, manual beat male that day 62 to nothing. We had the state champion football team, and uh, a lot of people think that was the best high school team ever come out of Kentucky. Well, I became the school principal in 1991, and I stayed for 17 years, and it was and not until 2001 when we finally brought the barrel back, and it was like the highlight of my career. It just makes you truly realize how important this is, not only to manual and to mail, but for the community as well. 63 games, coast to coast, border to border, literally. From Idaho to California to Texas to Florida, to New York, to Pennsylvania, to Ohio. I mean, it's all over the country. I think it's going to be a really close game. Mail has an outstanding ball club. Manuel's got a good ball club as well. I mean, it all leads up to tomorrow night, 7.30, at historic Manuel Stadium. Kentucky for the 117th edition of the Mail Manual Rivalry. DuPont Manual is looking for a big win tonight. They've won the past two years in a row and are looking for their first ever third consecutive win in the rivalry's history. It's going to be a great night. Good cut by Morris. And rolling hard, he may get in for the touchdown, and it is. It was Marcus Hill. <laughs> Jamie Nike from that line. And they just got within a point. Touchdown for the Bulldogs. Tied at the half, 14-14. It's been a wet and muddy battle so far. Take a look at it. He spins and fakes. Comes back over the middle. It's going for a touchdown. What an incredible run. 23. Good job. 
back in the That's going to try to throw it. He has a man open, and he's completed it as Percy Minor makes a good cut back inside. A good job holding on to the football. And I don't know that they're going to catch him splashing his way downfield. Nice run for the touchdown. What a soaker and what an upset. The Bulldogs claim the title 27-14. Nothing, man! You save me! Run!